tonight, living in a danger zone. Cars have ploughed into this house in Epping three times this year, causing thousands of pounds of damage. Residents say it's only a matter of time before someone's killed. Something has to be done, not just for me, but for everybody here. Everybody. It's awful. It needs to be calmed and someone's going to die. Good evening. Someone's going to die. That's the chilling warning from a woman living on the corner of a notorious accident black spot in Epping. Michelle Evans says she's living in constant fear, but accuses the council of doing nothing to help. Three cars have ploughed into her home this year. The most recent accident was last week. A warning, Daniel Henry's report starts with dramatic footage of those crashes. One family house. Three car crashes. This happened in March. Then again in September. And the latest was last week. We were in ho at home on all three occasions. Lots of damage inside and out. Um, obviously scary. All the windows have come through again. Been on to the council to say something needs to be done. Michelle has lived here for 16 years. She's been logging incidents since 2013 and complaining to the authorities. But listen carefully to what they told her. County Council who have said um, nothing can be done because there's not enough serious or fatal injury collisions to warrant any further improvement. Because it wasn't a fatal, fatal injury. Fatal or a serious... Wasn't, there wasn't a fatality or a serious injury. So there's, because no one died... They only consider personal injury claims. Because this is property damage, apparently it's not considered in the same, it's not considered serious enough to warrant further engineering or traffic calming measures on the, on the road. It's awful. It needs to be calmed and someone's going to die, even if it's not the people who are in the cars. It's someone walking on the pavement, you know, or in another car. How they've missed another car, I don't know. Does it sound like the council and the other authorities are listening to you? The data they get is not reality, and they, all they talk about is, is it's data-driven, but their data's wrong. Essex Highway sold our programme they're taking this seriously, and that they've already started working to make the area safer. But any improvements would have come too late for Michelle and her family, who want to go to bed at night without worrying about this happening again. Daniel Henry, ITV News.